Hi, I'm Buck Wargo at the Global Gaming Expo here in Las Vegas. I'm here at the SoftBet booth. I'm here with David Yatome. And uh, just tell us what's happening. What products are you showcasing here at uh, G2E? So thank you. Thank you for having us. Uh, SoftBet is basically an operator. We promote a lot of, uh, of our own online and gambling websites. Uh, we do have our own proprietary platform as well. And uh, it's integrated with uh, in casino providers and sportsbook. And uh, we're planning to showcase the U.S. industry our our amazing product. We're one of the features that uh, we're focusing on is our gamification or motivational engineering, as we call them. Uh, that's what you see in the background here. It's basically um, a loyalty program in which uh, people who are placing bets on casinos uh, also gain points that they can use in shops in uh, CD building features, in other games that we develop, uh, and we want to introduce this uh, unique uh, product to the U.S. market and to the American market as a whole. What about it, what are your plans for Brazil? What's the plans for that part of the world and so, North America? Yeah, so Brazil is a very uh, exciting market right now, a little bit uncertain given the new regulation. So we're looking uh, we're looking into it very deeply right now to understand how the landscape change uh, as the regulations now uh, are being adopted. Uh, unfortunately, there's still a little bit of uncertainty and we're closely monitoring it. And when uh, there's going to be a little bit more certainty, we will definitely look into penetrating that market and uh, to see how we can offer our products there as Any well. Any timeline for that? When do you think that could, that could happen? Well, it really depends on the regulators. <laughs> so, <laughs> but I would, I, I would, I would love to do this sooner than later. I think it's a very, uh, it's a, it's an amazing market. It's a huge market, uh, a lot of opportunity. South America as a whole is a very ex exciting market, um, and we're hoping it'll be sooner than later. How successful do you think you can be? What, the, what, how important would that be to your company? I think that I hope to be as successful as I can. That's for, and that's, uh, that's the first thing. But uh, I think that our as I said before, our uniqueness is, uh, we, we, are, we provide a very unique product. It's not like a generic online casino that you go in, you have a lobby, you have games. No, we don't do that. We have, a, we have, we have we are introduced a game within a game. Yeah. We, we intrigue the player. And I think that's what makes us special and that's what draws uh, more retention and more GGR and more uh, excitement to both the operator and both the players and, and you know introducing it to any market is amazing. Looking, strictly looking at the numbers that we've, uh, that we've seen given the, the, the streams from our developments and the gamification, you see that there's over 50% retention, over 50%, over 60% GGR. Uh, the ARPU rates are increasing by more than 45%. Uh, so um, we know that the technology work. Uh, we want to bring it to the market that we operate in, both internally as B2Cs, but also as a, as a service provider, which is very important for us. Potential Brazil just off the charts of what, what you can see happening there. Yeah, uh, as I said before, I mean the, the sheer number of people in Brazil, over 200 million people. I think that the uh, Brazilian market is amazing. Uh, we are very much interested in penetrating the market, and we will do so once the regulation clears out. Um, right now, we're more casino faced, and I know that there's a little bit uncertainty when it comes to casino. Um, sportsbook is a little more easier. We integrate the sportbook to our platform. Um, but we, we want to we want to figure out first well, how the casino landscape will, will form in Brazil, and then we'll uh, understand how to take this forward. What are your company's plans here for the fourth quarter uh, overall, and how you guys are going to fare and do here as we run, as we finish up the year? So we've uh, right now we focused a lot of new, on, on Europe. So we've obtained a lot of uh, licenses during the last year. Uh, we took license in Italy very recently, in Greece, and uh, that that that. That goes on to a, li a whole list of other licenses that we currently have, and uh, um, uh, like like Sweden and Denmark and Ireland and Malta. And next plans are to obtain uh, licenses, additional licenses that we have in Europe, which is Germany and Portugal. And uh, hopefully uh, next quarter we'll be launching in Canada as well. And by the end of next year, will be uh, will be the U.S. And of course. We're very closely monitoring the South Americans and uh, Brazil and Latin America as well to figure out how we're going to penetrate those markets as well. We're very excited and very interested. We, we see a lot of potential. We want to draw a lot of more operators that want to operate in these markets. And I think that given our very uniqueness and special product that we offer and very much depending on our gamification uh, features, 
uh, that, that will be a very interesting uh, prospect, both to operators in Brazil, but also to the end users, which uh, we'll, I'm sure we'll find it very exciting. Well, thank you for your time, and good thank luck you. for the rest of the show. Thank you very much. Thank you.